Uh, hello, everyone, once again. Um, sorry about uh, the previous previous time. There were some admin problems, but uh, now it's resolved, and we are ready to go. Um, so I, as I was saying earlier, that I'm ready to uh, to take challenges from premium members from Chess24. Uh, my account is uh, Sayesh Grover, just like my name. Nothing, uh, nothing too complicated about that. Um, so yes, uh, the spelling is S A H A J and Grover G R O V E R. And uh, I'm ready whenever you are. Let's go. Let's get this uh, show started. Okay, I received the first challenge, I think. Trying to see. Um, okay, so we can begin, please. I'm playing Mr. Zivich. All right, let's do it. Mm. Do I go for the Morosi or no, what's the order? The first game of today. Okay, usually it's not a good idea to give up this bishop so quickly, but uh, we'll see how that turns out. Okay, castle. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I think he wants to go. Long castle, which uh, which is something that I would have done as 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 well. The short castle just uh, seems a bit exposed on that side. Hmm, okay, I I don't like this move so much because it gives me the key one. And now he's in trouble because if, if the queen goes to c seven, then I just take the bishop, and the king is now. Little bit in trouble. Maybe six. Hmm. I can take. What should I take? Yeah, let's take. Okay, so what's gonna happen now? Bishop B2 or Bishop G5? B2 is stronger because he cannot move the knight anymore. So, yeah, I definitely think that I should be better here. Should be clearly better. Oh, I missed that. Hmm. But the question is if it was important to not miss it. Knight c5, b6, rook b6. Looks decent. Let's go for it. b6, fold right into the plan. Now, should I take this one or that one? Mm. Probably this one is going to be better, I think. I can take this one too. Oh, but I have knight d4. Uh, it's not a big problem. Didn't want to give up the bishop, but um, you know, anything for a free point. Or two points in that case, in this case. Is there increment in this 
I don't think so. Yeah, it's just three plus zero. His time is going to be an issue also here, I think. Okay, with d8. Let's play rook d1. I don't want to give him d3. I'll bring my king out now to d3. Mm, okay, so he really wants d3. We can't give him that. This, okay, what do I do now? Let's go with a5. Let's bring the king out. It's always good to uh, guard a well, potential passer, or you maybe just use the king as you know something to blockade. It's always a good idea. Let's give this check. Let's go here. Okay, so maybe let's just push. Let's take this guy. Okay, now I think it's more or less over. Okay, that was a good start. Okay, let's do another one. All right, Alex Renritz. Let's go. Let's play D4 this time. C4. Ooh, the Dutchman. I see. I never liked playing against the Dutch. It's always a bit, uh, I've always uh, found it to be a little, well, slightly annoying. Let's play, let's play knight f3, looks logical. Mm. Let's play queen t2, I have a, I, I have a plan. I don't know if it's, no, I don't think it's going to work now. Mm, but I'm not sure if d5 is good here. So maybe let's just take and put the bishop out. E3 or G3? E3 or G3? Decisions, decisions. Okay, let's play E3. You know what? I will play my plan anyway. Yeah, I'm just going to do it anyway. Probably missed my d5 just now. Can I take it now then? I think I can. Let's hope I'm right. Okay, let's take the bishop. Ah, he has queen before. Sneaky. Okay, a3. Let's just guard it. Hmm. He's not going to go down without a fight. And I respect that. Okay, let's come back. Surely not g4. The knight is hanging. Play bishop d3, seems logical. Mm. 
you know, do anything. I think he's kind of preventing me from castle on, uh, castling on the long side. So now I'll be forced to castle this way, which is, which is not so bad. It looks a little scary though, but uh, I mean, the good thing is that black doesn't have G4 immediately. Okay, let's play rook C1. It's not necessary, but you know, let's let's do it anyway. Okay, let's play maybe, should I take this? It's probably a good idea, but let's first play with C1. Hmm. Maybe we like C4, offering a not such a smart trade for my opponents. Okay, so now I'm in time trouble, so I gotta I gotta play fast. Oof, 28 seconds. It's not regretting that decision of taking on C6. Okay, let's take. Okay, what am I gonna do now? Should I take rook c5? I think it's probably a good idea. But okay, I need to play far, so I must I must play something. It's definitely not a not the position that I wanted to be in. But isn't that always the case? King here. That is not good. Okay, it's okay. We'll try to we'll try to flag him. Maybe not. Oh, that was that was very close. Sorry, man. Sorry, uh, Alex. <laughs> but it was you left me no choice. But you, but you know, try to flag you. Better good game. Okay, let's go for the next one. Velvet hammer. Let's go for it. Now I feel like I must play faster. Okay, so I see there's a three plus two increment here, which is not so bad. Okay, e4. Let's go knight c4. I like playing Reti, uh, especially in blitz in in blitz games. I like the Reti structure that is simply because um, I feel like it's the first couple of moves or the ideas are pretty much similar. It doesn't require. Oh wow, the person resigned. Let's see, that was a bit quick one. 
a little bit unexpected as well. Okay, let's continue. Mokshilo. Let's do it. Yeah, am I supposed to be white in every one of these games? I didn't actually realize that. Okay. okay, let's come back. I'm not really a big fan of putting the bishop on c7. Mm, no, where to fossil? Let's pass it here. G4 is coming. Ah, you're going to take with the E pawn. Shouldn't have done that. Not this five is once not before. Okay, let's play bishop e5. Next move g4. Free move. Unless he attacks my queen. Okay, g4 is coming now. Okay, let's go. Okay, if I take, yeah, my queen d5 is not there. At least it's, I mean, it's there, but it's not such a big problem. Okay, let's go h4. This is a nice position. Okay, so let's go queen d3. Let's try over here. Oh, sorry, this guy's not premium. Oh, sorry, guys, I didn't realize that. Uh, my apologies. Okay, queen g8, let's go queen g6. I've been getting a lot of unrated requests. Wonder why that is. Okay, let's give this check. Let's get the get that king out. Oh, do it. Come on, play queen f5. Come on, you must. Yes. Okay, you must take it. And that was a nice one. Sorry. Okay, let's continue. All right, let's do this. Bishop f4. For all those London lovers. Let's go queen d2. 
you. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's just push. Let's see here. Let's do not allow this C4. Okay, we should do this there. So we're happy. E5, okay, let's attack. Is it coming? I think it is. I think it is working. So F5 is G6, and this is make now. Okay, the Greek gift. Don't see it so often these days. Okay. Um, the 10 minute game is just gonna be a bit too long. So if you can offer me, um, you know, a bit lower time, maybe five, five plus zero is okay. Three plus two is okay. Three plus zero is okay. Just 10 minutes is a bit too long. So let's, uh, let's, let's keep it um either five minutes or just lower than five minutes with increments also is okay with me okay let's do it Okay, so it seems like this guy's not here. Mm, there we go. Let's play knight g5. Okay, let's go queen h5. The idea is like something like bishop d2, bishop c3, <clears throat> maybe even knight g5 or bishop g5 is the same way. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. I like that thing. Let's go over should be, uh, maybe I shouldn't have allowed that F6. Oh well, it happens. We can still try to flag. <laughs> I think the position now is more or less pretty equal, I'd say. But the strategy now is to try and flag the guy, obviously. Okay, I didn't expect that. If I play C4 here, it's queen C3. I don't like that. Maybe let's go queen c6. Okay. 
here, rook c8. So he wants rook d8, rook d6 now, probably. Let's go rook e1. So idea is if he goes rook d8, rook d6, then I can always play queen d7. So let's try to hope that he would play that. Okay, so he sees it. Mm, let's go rook e5. Ah, maybe I should have played a4 on this queen f3. Queen b7, he has c5. Okay. It's not very optimal. Do I trade? It's a difficult one. Okay, if I want to fly, I can't think like that. I have to play fast, regardless. Okay, no, it's, no, I'm sorry, man. Oh, that was, and that was, that was quite cheap. But you know, whatever works. Okay, um, let's do another one. Mm. Hey, Carlos. Hmm. Okay, so first e4, I think I faced today. Hmm, what should I do? Let's go scan d. Um, my endgame course is about uh, strategic endgames. So this is basically, you know, the, the moments when you transform from middle game into endgame and how to turn that transformation into your favor. That's what the course is about. So like I've mentioned this many times, even you know, during the interview, even in the peak inside video that uh, this is not a theoretical course so you know you're, you're not going to learn you know basic end games or anything like that but in fact you know there's nothing about theoretical end games in the in the course we have one chapter which is based on you know the importance of knowing theoretical end games which which is of course um uh, obviously something that one must know but um, the course is not about that it's it's, it's about how can you use um, that transformation between one uh, phase of the game to another and how can you turn it into your advantage and not just that you know it's it's also about um how to face different situations um, um in the end game so for example if you're worse what to do if you're better what to do if your the position is equal but you need a win what to do and these are the little uh, questions you know so it's a it's a, it's a very practical course and it, it consists of only practical games and uh, both myself and Daniel um, think that this is uh, this is a very important course to improve uh, basically anyone's um, in in game uh, skill. In fact, you know, just working by myself, um, I I feel like my in game skill has improved uh, as well. So it, I, I I don't really think that this course is limited to a certain audience. Um, and I'm not just saying that because it's you know, 
because it's my course or anything like that. But I truly believe that it's 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 got a lot of uh, practical benefits, and it would be good for basically any um, chess player who wants to seriously improve their skill in that sense. I hope that answers your question. Okay, so we up on time. I can go b4 and knight a4. Let's, let's, yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, uh, Justine, this is exactly what I was saying, that you don't really have to, um, you know, be at a certain skill to understand. Uh, we try to make the uh, material as basic as possible. Um, and I think that, you know, if even if something doesn't make sense, you can always, you know, uh, you have the... Uh, option to just write it on the comments that, hey, this didn't make sense to me. Can you just elaborate a little further? And of course, we will get back to you um, about that. So it's not really that it's, it's limited to, you know, a certain group of people. I think that anyone should, uh, you know, read uh, through the course. And I, and I think that it's going to be quite, quite helpful in your growth as a chess player. Mm -hmm. B6, okay, let's remove this. This guy from C5. How long is my course? Um, well, it's about, you mean in terms of hours? Well, the video is only about 10, 11 hours, something like that. And um, we have divided the course into five chapters. I'm oh, sorry, the five topics, the fifth, uh, five parts, sorry. Fifth one is the conclusion, obviously. So it's divided in, under four parts. And each part uh, speaks about a certain aspect of you know, in game, you know, as, as I mentioned earlier, when you're winning, when you're worse, you know, and so on, what to do in those situations. It like it doesn't deal with one specific thing. This is this is this is more of a, gen, uh, a general understanding that you gain from the course. So it's 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 not like it's on one specific position that it will work. It it, it we're, we we try to deal with practical situations, which you know people face every day. And, you know, another benefit of having the course is that it doesn't just help you in, in uh, you know, in end games as, as such. I, I think that to an extent, it, it helps a lot with middle games. And I think to an extent, it also helps with openings because you, you have that end goal in mind. You know that which pieces to exchange and uh, what, what, what to eliminate, what, what to keep, which will give you um, better end game position from the start. So I, I feel that both myself and Daniel feel that this is not just for your end game. It's, I, I, I feel like you, you will improve your overall um, play in general. I've been debating if I want to take on a four, but I think after D4, the knight is get, rook is getting trapped. Okay, but I, have, I don't have time, so let's just play fast. Let's play D4, so now this bishop is bad. Okay, G8. That was a close one. Okay. Thanks for the thanks for the um, support, guys. Really appreciate it. Okay, let's do the next one. Uh, let's do Siomor. Okay, I'm getting all unrated requests, but okay, let's uh, let's do it anyway. I think people are not liking that uh, my rating is 1800 right now, but okay, this is my first time playing from uh, from this account. Uh, hopefully, we can change that. Okay, I can I play the next one. I think I can. Okay, let's go right at six. I like King D2 a lot. Nice move. Maybe King E2 would have been slightly better, but I think King D2 is also pretty nice. It's quite it's quite bold. I like that. You want to get the video, is there a big difference on or, or how important is it? Um well, I think it all comes down to, um, you know, what kind of method you 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 
prefer the most? You, 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 you prefer to read or you prefer to listen? Um, in the video, um, what we did was we tried to just lay out specifics or, or, or the most important examples that we thought that you must know. And, and we just explained those a little bit better. And I do think that, you know, for a lot of people, that is quite crucial. Um, but it, it, it all basically comes down to what, what, what mode do you prefer the most? I personally think that, you know, especially this is, I mean, this is not an easy concept to understand. So, you know, getting that, you know, one-on-one -on -one touch really, really helps in, you know, getting just a few things um, a, a little bit easier. So I would recommend uh, the video as well. But, you know, uh, <laughs> you also have to listen to me and Daniel just yap about uh, Endgame for 10 hours. So there's a, <laughs> there, uh, there is a downside to that. <laughs> but uh, now hopefully, ho hopefully it will be, it will be worth it. Okay, let's go to key eight. I feel like uh, I, I, I gambled here a bit too much. There's an also a very interesting uh, story because when Daniel was here um, in my in my apartment, so when we were working on the course, uh, basically the whole day we were just busy selecting examples and stuff like that. But once we were finished, then Daniel introduced me to this uh, unique setup that he created by himself, and we would just be playing. It's I, you can call it kind of a variant of the bong cloud. But uh, it's 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 close to that, but but it, it's it's just hilarious. Um, I'll see if I can uh, play that in 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 one of the matches. But uh, yeah, <laughs> like the interesting thing is that we were playing only that for just a very very long time, <laughs> which is quite funny. I feel like I've uh, I'm. I'm on, like I shouldn't be playing this reckless, but I think it's going to work out. Hello, hello, Abdu. Good evening. Wait, you changed my rating? Oh, that's good. So I'll, I'll get only uh, rated matches from now on. Good news, everyone. So let's, I should be expecting more rated matches. Um, let's go queen g6. King's gambit dead agree. Um, no, no, I wouldn't agree to that. I don't think anything is dead these days. Okay, good game. Okay, so who am I accepting now? Let's play Super Haiti. Okay, let's go. Oh, with my new rating, nice. I'm glad. I'm glad you seen that I could uh, that I could help out and that you're excited about this. But just if at any point you feel um, you know uncertain about something, you can always write down on the because you have this option of uh, uh, mentioning on on the comments of at which moment if something didn't feel um, right. So you can always write to us and say that okay, this this didn't make sense to me. In fact, a lot of people have done that already. But uh, if, if anything doesn't make sense to you specifically, just don't, uh, you can ask anytime. And we generally respond between, you know, one or two days, something like that. Okay, so play h6. Let's go last first. This used to be my, probably one of the first lines that I ever learned um, as a kid, after the French, obviously. This is one of the first lines I learned against the D4. This is, has a special place in my heart. Also, let's go on C6. Good stuff.
So I want to push e5 here also, but I feel like it's going to be a bit premature. So let's maybe try and prepare for it. Okay, so before, okay, so he's now pushing e4. Yeah, let's take it. Doesn't seem too bad. Yeah, so so far I think uh, I've only played uh, three plus two. I think only one game was three plus two. But yeah, let's uh, let's let's keep it to that uh, time control. I think it's working nicely. Five. Hmm. Tempted to take this, but I think it's unnecessary. By the way, just is interesting, but just to show you what the course would be about also, like it would, it would kind of deal with the, these positions too. So right now it's bishop versus knights, which would be more important for me because this bishop is kind of bad now. So it's, this is also one of the topics of the courses where amplifying one's weaknesses. So if the bishop is bad, then you exchange everything else but the bishop. And uh, you'll see that once everything is exchanged then the knight is going, just going to be uh, much, much stronger. And this is also something that is uh, mentioned in the course as well. Um, let's take maybe. I don't know if that was the best idea. I just have to watch out for d6 because I completely underestimated that. Uh, let's go to d7. Maybe. If he plays d6, then it would be a big fail. For me, I mean, because that then it defeats the purpose of having have, having a good knight and a bad bishop. I mean, I think he's uh, look, she's seven. I think it's fine. I think I just need to find the right moment to transfer the knight here, exchange all the pieces, and okay, black should be completely winning there. Or at least you know, black will be pushing. Do I have streams planned on my Twitch too? Oh, so I see you're one of my OG supporters. <laughs> Well, um, to those who don't know this, but I did have my own Twitch channel as well, but uh, I haven't been streaming on it uh, primarily because I was very busy with the course, but hopefully sometime soon I will be back. Okay, F4. Hmm. So objectively this should be better, but uh, practically I'm not so sure. I just need to find a way to exchange the rooks. But okay, it will be the game will be over before that because I see the time is also an issue here. So let's exchange the first rook. And now I need to find a way to exchange the second rook. Yeah, that probably wasn't a good decision by him. actually didn't realize that uh, that you have to click for the promotion. Oh. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm a bit too overrated for having that 2500 rating. 
um, there must be a setting that allows me to um, do the do the promotion myself. But I knew that was a bad idea as soon as it happened. Okay, let's continue. Yeah, huh, another Dutch. Rick and Morty, haha, <laughs> you're a fan of Rick and Morty. That's nice. Okay, so let's play G3. Let's play H4. Okay, so I need to play fast so I can do my promotions right. No, oh, man, uh, Abdul, there's no such thing as a dirty flag. I, I see, you know, uh, the clock is just, just another piece, and it's completely fair to do. Ooh, that, would, that would have been a bad free move. I am tempted to take this just to see his king on e6. That would be a sight to see. Let's play f3. Let's wait for the king, and then I'll push g4. Let's push h5. I don't want him to play g5 to make this bishop bad. Okay, bishop g5 is good. So I need to find a way to take this now. King g2 or bishop e2. I think bishop e2 is more convincing. Hello. Um, I'm from India. I currently live in South Africa. But yes, born and raised in India, Delhi. So I see he's not afraid of leaving his king on e6. I'm 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 not like that. If my king is over there, I will always be a little stressed. Queen f6. Okay, let's play with h1. So he cannot take. This is fine. But I think I'm in trouble. Let's take this. It's not like you can take it back in here. Okay, knight f4. Maybe knight d1 would have been better. Okay, queen c3, that's good. Perform. I have to give up that one. Hmm. Are you going to take? Okay, no, not yet. Okay, let's move quickly. Okay, 
Let's play another one. Hats or blitzer. Let's do it. Um, oh, let's break it. Queen e7, that's strange. Okay, let's play a4. Monkey wants to go long castle. Okay, let's play g4. Okay, I'm just gonna take. Probably not the right thing to do. It seems good now. Oh, I like that pawn chain. Oh, come on. Why you gotta do that to my pawn chain? Maybe rookie one would have been better. But okay, this is this is a this is a decent position. Okay. Again, another another one with a cheap with with the cheap trick. All right, let's do one more game. I see you three minutes. Okay, there it goes. Let's go. Uh, we've got another London player. Never let them break your pawn chain. That's the lesson. Queen B6 or do I take? I think Queen B6. Can I take this? Is it so free? Maybe it was mouse flip, yeah, because you wanted probably wanted to take on b5. Number should be three. Let's go ninety four next. Yeah, that's a good position. So I want to push A5. But the question is when.
can try being too obvious about it. That usually works. Hi, Ahmed. Um, so I'm only seeing uh, requests uh, as, as soon as they come along. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't accept yours earlier. But um, what is your username? Where, you're, where you send me a request from. And I will play your game as the last one. OK, this seems good. Okay, let's go with a few. So you take this, I take that. From not to take. That's what we created. Yeah, I don't like taking this. It looks like a better look to me. Okay, I'm accepting your challenge next. Uh, be ready. Only three. I don't think he's gonna take this one. Oh, maybe he will, but okay, he's losing, he's losing the point by force. Let's take the pawn. Now we have c2, now bishop b4 next. Nice. Okay, um, challenging, uh, what was your return? Okay. Doing it now. I think I got the right one. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's play. Okay, let's take this. There must be something wrong here. F6 can't be good. Bishop C4, yeah. Now my old coach used to say um, that the F1 is the golden pawn, and you must almost never touch it. Okay, I think this is a problem right now. Next move knight d4 and the pawn and, and the knight is now in big trouble. I think I can just take this now. Okay, 
Okay, good game. All right, that, bring, that brings my uh, mental blitz to an end. Um, thank you all for playing. Uh, thank you all for you know, challenging me and whatnot. And hopefully we can do this again sometime. And uh, yes, cheers guys. See you, bye-bye.